Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we discuss knives for city dwellers. Today we're going to have a look at the Buck Knives Sprint Select Model 840. Buck Knives is an American knife manufacturer with a long history through five generations of the Buck family, from 1902 to the present day. Buck Knives is credited with inventing the folding hunting knife and popularizing it to such a degree that the term Buck Knife has become synonymous with folding lockback knives, including those made by other manufacturers. My previous Buck folding knife was the Buck Lite 422, which I got in the late 80s. You can see my review for this knife in the video in the link in the card above or the description below. More than 30 years later, I wanted to see what a modern buck flipper would be like, so I got this Sprint Select. The Sprint Select is available in multiple colours. Each Select model utilises 420HC steel. The Sprint model also has the Pro and Ops series, featuring higher-end steels and handle materials. The Select range is more of a budget range. Let's have a look at the knife. It comes in a simple box like that, typical with all the buck knives made in the USA. And let's open the side here and we have the knife. So this is a flipper knife with a liner lock. It uses ball bearings for the pivot system. Now I've heard or read some reviews where buyers of this knife were not satisfied with the flip action of the knife. Now I can understand why. It is not as satisfying when you flick it open. You do have to put a bit of a deliberate action because if you don't kind of flip it all the way, it doesn't really open all the way. It's not that smooth as some, as with some knives, right? Which you really just press down on the flipper tab and it just shoots open. Uh, for example, this Tucson knife here, it just, has a much more pronounced flicking action. So if you are one where flipper action is the most important thing to you, then this knife may not be for you. Now, before we get into the specs, let's do some size comparisons. So here is the previously mentioned Tucson. This is the TS21. It's a titanium handle with the morning night finish. We've got a Benchmade foray. And here we have a Chinese knife with armor, that's the gent, it's about the same size, and finally, an Altoid tin. Let's have a quick look at the specs for the Buck Sprint Select. The blade length is 3.12 inches long, the close length is 4.375 inches long, the overall length is 7.5 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches thick. So this is a drop point style blade. The blade material is 420HC stainless steel. The blade is full bellied with a strong thick point for heavier tasks. It can be used as a general work knife and I think this is where it excels, whether it's an urban knife or an outdoors knife. It is a hollow grind and there's a nice swedge over here as well as a recurve uh, on the top, which is good for you to kind of put your thumb on for heavier or finer tasks. Now the top of the blade drops down towards the tip, which is characteristic of the drop point. Now this minimizes accidental puncturing while skinning. I do not hunt, so not too big a deal for me. But the drop point blade is strong and very versatile. The blade material, as mentioned, is 420HC. This is buck standard steel and has great edge retention and corrosion resistance. It features the Paul Boss heat treatment and buck hardens this to a standard of RC58 to 60. The great thing about Buck's 420HC is that it's very easy to resharpen. The general consensus is that the steel, along with the grind and heat treatment, is dependable and really good. The handle is black glass filled nylon. It is pretty sturdy. There are liners which are recessed into these handles. There's this backstopper in red over here with a deep carry pocket clip, which is quite unusual in the sense that's put on the back edge of the knife. This handle itself is textured in various ways. Uh, there's a bit of uh, texturing on the two sides for design. And we have got some kind of lines to create a uh, more grip here as well. Overall, I think the design is unique at least to this Buck uh, Sprint line. I'm not sure how visually attractive I find this personally. Overall, I do find the knife a bit utilitarian. In terms of the design, we do have the Buck logo over here. And as mentioned, the deep carry 
pocket clip. Now, the thing in terms of ergo, I don't find the bottom part of the knife here really comfortable. There is a hot spot that's created with this pocket clip. I guess you could always remove it, so that's not much of a problem. But other than that, it's a very utilitarian kind of design in terms of the grip. There's a good kind of a finger groove over here, which makes it for a good grip. And there's a bit of a groove over here as well. As mentioned, you can put your thumb over here. So, you know, if I'm holding it like that, I do feel I've got a good purchase and I can, and I have used this, right? So it is quite good to do tasks, but if I were to grip it real tight, so depending on how my hand is clenched, uh, this particular protrusion of the clip does kind of bite into the hand. Now, if you were to EDC this, you can carry it in your pocket. It's not heavy. It's only 3.2 ounces and it's, uh, you know, it's fairly slender. So it is a liner lock. So you close it up this way so you could put it in your pocket and it won't be too much of a problem or you could put it in a pouch for a knife or flashlight and carry it on your belt so the question is does the buck sprint select make for a good urban edc now the msrp is 70 dollars but you can get it for about 58 us dollars from certain dealers for the quality fit and finish this is probably overpriced by today's standards if the Buck brand and the fact that it's made in the USA has high value to you, then you might think that this price is fair. I think there is equity in the brand and the made in US label, but I suspect the value is not as high as it once was, especially with better quality and quality control coming out of China. So judging by just the materials, the design and the fit and finish alone, there are many knives at similar prices that will seem to be of better quality and feel, more refined in design and the finishing. So as mentioned, this is very utilitarian in terms of design and fit and finish. But to me, it does work. I can see this, you know, uh, a knife that I put around the house and I have done that to help me with all kinds of tasks. You can put it in your toolkit or you can use it as an outdoor folder when you bring on hikes or camps. I think that's very serviceable as well. I probably would not carry this as an urban EDC to carry on my person. Now, because it is lightweight, yet it is very robust in terms of the blade, just the general construction as well, and because it's not a fine gentleman's knife, I will be comfortable for a bit more rough use and you know, kind of bringing it out. But what do you think? Let me know your comments below on this particular knife. Do you own the Buck Sprint Select? Do you own any of the other models of the Sprint series? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And as usual, keep it folded, keep it safe.